Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Raka Kodash Baraka Te Yahweh Baraka Te Yahweh Shah Baraka Te Yahweh Baraka Te Yahweh Shah Baraka Te Yahweh Baraka Te Yahweh Shah Kahala Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Bashem Raka Kodash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down who rule well and taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the house of David, the elect man pushing this truth from faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth so we can go home and make Jerusalem a praise sake. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Raka, Kodash, Raka Thumb. To all you sincere listeners who may hear this, okay? And I uh, want to name this video, uh, We War with the Word, not the Sword, all right? Not not guns or, or something on, on those lines, okay? Because, uh, you know, uh, they, they, they got this new uh, narrative that Esau is pushing about uh, the black identity extremists, okay? The uh, the, the, the so-called black supremacists, supremacists, which we are not black anyway. Uh, we, we can't um, iterate that enough. We can't reiterate that enough that we are not uh, black, okay? We are the Hebrew Israelites. We are the true uh, descendants of the one you call God, all right, which his true name is Yahweh, okay? And we're not, uh, we're, we're not, uh, violent, okay? We're not, uh, we're, we're peaceful, um, we're, we're peaceful men, okay? We, we abide within the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, okay? We follow behind, uh, our, our, our power, which is Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, we're called Kodash, the creator of, of all things and his only begotten son, okay? We, we, uh, we, we are the true, what you would call Christians, all right, which, which are the Hamashiachians, all right, Hamashiachians, if I'm saying that word right, all right, we, we are of uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shaz, all right, we're his men, okay, Lord willing, we be those men, okay, so, but uh, we, uh, we we say that within confidence through, through the fear of the Lord that we have, okay, through, through the fear of the Lord that we have is it, it, strong confidence to believe that we are those men that our Lord Yahweh Shai has has left with this word to, to uphold his integrity and until he comes back or right, and makes his second coming. Okay. We we uh are, are, are here just to push this word and, and prophesize and, and do the will uh, of Yahweh, all right, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and uh and um speak this kingdom down through the spirit uh, of Yahweh's uh Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, th through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahushua with our tongues, okay? All right, we're, we're, uh, we, we, we are not uh, looking to raise up and be terrorists. We're not looking to uh, raise a cult. We're, we're not a cult. All right, we're not a uh, so-called black supremacist group, okay, who are uh, come, looking to uh, rise up and, and, and make a, a big tumult against the so-called white man. All right, that's, that's not what we do. Okay, although you do have some bad apples in the bunch, all right, who mess it up for everybody, and, and, and that makes us be labeled all together. Okay, like uh, this group ISBUK, if I'm saying it right, ISPUK or whoever they are. Okay, these clowns. Okay, uh, considering themselves, they they go with the label of being black supremac black supremacists. Okay, they they fall right into uh Esau's uh narrative, man. All right, they fall right into uh. Esau's plot, man, all right, which um, actually uh, causes everyone to uh, fall into that plot, okay, because they 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 actually call themselves Hebrew Israelite, black Hebrew Israelites, okay, but uh, true Hebrew Israelites are not black, okay, that it, that's that's a byword and a proverb. If you still calling yourself black, if if you still identifying with yourself as black, all right, Yahweh by Shem is going to destroy you, okay, just point blank, period, okay. But you have idiots like 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 uh like like this these groups or and, and a lot more uh uh men okay who who uh, go with oh well I'm gonna uh, defend myself by all means all right uh I'm gonna bear arms okay uh um you you, you have uh so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Indians okay who are uh ready to uh go to war with Esau carnally okay but the true man of the lord we, we're not looking for corner warfare okay we uh we because we understand that we are in spiritual warfare okay and these guns are right, and, and this uh weaponry this machinery all right anything of this world cannot uh protect us from uh yahweh by shimmy judgment the only thing that can protect us 
from death and, 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 uh, and give us salvation is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh okay? Now, that's not saying that uh, we, we just going to be some punks and just let somebody run all over us, okay? But we're not looking for war, okay? We're, we're, we're not looking to war, okay? Only thing, uh, the, the Lord says, behold, uh, the devil shall throw you and some uh, some of us in pri prison, all right? Uh, and he says, um, endure unto death, okay? So some of us are going to be martyrs for our Lord, okay? But the, nowhere in the scriptures you're going to find uh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all right, telling us to uh, go take up arms and, and, and defend ourselves with, with guns against um, Esau, who who his blessing is Esau's blessing is the, the the gun okay and then Esau on top of that Esau is the uh heavenly father's sword okay so this is this is the heavenly father's program you're supposed to be uh praying to the lord and, and resting in the lord for protection and, and hegemony uh, against uh uh against Esau and, and his uh weaponry his swords okay so I'm going to play this video okay which is a 2 minute uh, long video Two minute and thirty six six second long video, okay, and I'm just hit some scriptures, okay. But this is an example of uh, the the stupidity, all right, that uh, some of these uh, ABC uh, uh, black Hebrew Israelites groups are, all right, because they are black Hebrew Israelites, man, all right. You you packing a gun, you're an idiot, okay. Just just point blank, period, okay. We 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 got all the swords we need right here. We got all the guns we need with these scriptures, man, all right. The real true men of the Lord, we don't need no gun. Why? Because we got faith. All right. If if you got a if, if you got a gun, you don't got no faith, man. All right. So I'm just gonna play this video and I'm going to some scriptures. Okay. Lord willing, this is edifying. Oh, say what you don't want her. <laughs> you come? You shoot guns often? Leisurely. Well, I mean, I go pretty often. I go about twice a month. Yeah, it's fun, man. Okay, cool. Everyone, everyone got goggles? Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. Hold on, so like the, you know, I'm playing a little bit more. Hold on, let me just. It's almost as though being black. It's the perfect spot <laughs> to end this song. Okay, here we go, right here. All right, I'm gonna end it right here. Okay, because these 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 ABC uh Hebrew Israelite groups are bugged the hell out, man. All right, this this just I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. I'm not even gonna speak too much on these Hebrew these these, these so-called uh Hebrew Israelite groups, man. All right, these are not the true man of the Lord, man. All right, and that's simple and plain to see. All right, if a man is proclaiming here a uh, man of the Lord, but he uh, packing guns and going to the shooting range, okay, he's a damn life. All right, that's a false prophet. All right, and all false prophets will be destroyed. Okay, this is a. Uh... Whew, let me get. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 9, verse 17. The words of a wise man are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools, man. All right, and this is the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Because you can see all them uh the them uh brothers in his uh in, in his camp or his his uh, organization, I, I should say. All right, because I'm sure they have a 501c uh charter, 
all right, uh, from, from the government, okay, uh, they, 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 they don't have the spirit on them, you can see, all right, because they're under uh, the, the, the leadership uh, of a, a wicked man, an unwise man, a fool, okay, who's telling you you need to uh, have a, a license, a uh, gun license for protection, and uh, so-called black men have a stigma behind them for having a sword, right, because we're spiritual people, man. All right, and that's spiritual because you have about seeing me outside and make us people to, to rule with swords, man. All right, in, in, in the kingdom of heaven, we ain't going to have no uh, swords, man. We ain't going to have no guns, okay? We're going to have spiritual power, man. All right, and, and on top of that, spiritual power is coming to the earth right now, man. All right, spiritual power, the, the, the heavenly father is going to endow spiritual power to the elect in, in, in Jacob's trouble, man. Okay, so so we don't need uh guns, man. All right, we we we're, we're about spiritual warfare. We're not about uh physical warfare, man. All right, that's what Esau does. We're not we're we're not people who war with with weapons. All right, we war with the weapon of these scriptures, man. All right. Verse eighteen: Wisdom is better than weapons of war. Right, wisdom is better than weapons of war, man. All right, that's how you prepare yourself. Uh, for that, that's how you have a defense uh, against Esau and the wicked man are right, with, with wisdom. OK, that's why it says in Isaiah the 33rd chapter that wisdom, knowledge uh, and stability shall be the uh, so like your wisdom, knowledge and understanding shall be the stability of thy times. OK, because wisdom uh, is what's going to protect you and, and give you a defense against evil. OK, not not uh, AK-47. OK, you, you can run out of bullets, but you can't run out of wisdom. OK. It says, wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroy of much good. Yeah, and you see these uh ones, these one men, these these few men are is destroying much good. Okay, because you got a um, uh, true man of the Lord who don't have nothing to do, want nothing to do with weapons. Okay, but uh, one bad apple of the bunch can uh can mess it up for the whole bunch. Our right, one bad apple can mess it up for the whole bunch, man. All right, now now everybody's uh labeled uh black supremacists and, and uh and, and, and so-called black hate groups all right because uh that because of these fools want want to uh come out and, and say that you should uh war uh fight back against esau with guns all right with a host of other uh other uh black extremist groups man all right who uh call out for um war against the so-called white man with guns man all right which which these these niggas really ain't gonna do a damn thing, man. All right, because these niggas uh talk about all that shit, man. Esau, first and foremost, you're not gonna war with uh against Esau with his own blessing, man. All right, that's just not gonna happen. And secondly, these these you, how many times you see a, a nigga coming up with a big uprising against uh the Esau and the police force or or um going in the uh, so called uh suburban uh a suburban so called white uh, neighborhood and, and, and shooting it up you're not gonna see it all right because you niggas is not about what you're talking about man all right and you 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 um you 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 say you want to protect yourself but you can't protect yourself from esau esau got uh guns undetectable guns he got invisible guns man all right esau esau uh this 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 was his blessing was the sword okay let me go here okay this is second corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 it says, well, I started three. It says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, right? Although we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, okay? We're not we're not warring after flesh, okay? This is a spiritual war, okay? And, and what are we warring for? We're warring for salvation, okay? We're not warring to uh, keep our lives here, all right, to, to keep, to stay within the flesh, all right, to protect our flesh, all right, we, we're looking to uh get new bodies all right incorruptible bodies where we don't have to worry about no bullet hitting us and, and, and taking our life away okay it says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal right the weapons of our warfare are not carnal okay the weapons of our warfare are are, are what but mighty through yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. Yeah, but mighty to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh to the pulling down of strongholds. That's what our uh, weapon uh, our weapons are for. That's 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 what our uh that's that's what our weapons of warfare are, okay? These scriptures, okay? This this, this truth, all right? It's not nothing else, okay? We we we, we are faith-based Israelites who 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 believe upon 
uh, the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh okay? And this, and we rest in those words, and we live by those words, and we die by those words, okay? We we don't uh, live by nothing else, okay? This is uh, Hebrews chapter four, verse twelve. It says, "For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword." Yeah, the words of Yahweh is quick and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword. Or any AK-47, any AR-15, or any uh, uh, bazooka, rocket launcher, okay, grenade launcher, okay, uh, Molotov cocktails, okay, what, what, whatever kind of uh, weapon you can name, all right, the the the, the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is is quick and more powerful than all those uh, those, those uh, weapons, okay. It says, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit. And of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the heart, thoughts, and intents of the heart. Right. So this, 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 this word uh can can actually cut down to the uh to to the uh soul and the spirit. Okay. You can't you can't take away no one's soul and spirit with a uh, bullet, man. All right. That's that you 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 can put their flesh down, or you you could probably wound, you can wound them or or kill uh the body, but you cannot uh kill the spirit. All right, with, with with uh with no bullets, man. All right, <laughs> this, this this but this word, okay, this word can actually uh cast out evil spirits, man. All right, this, this truth can actually uh defeat and, and destroy evil spirits, man. All right, let me go here in, in Ephesians, okay, to prove that this word is a sword. All right, this word is 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 weaponry, okay. Salakia, okay. Let me get it. Uh, okay, this is uh, this is uh, Ephesians chapter six, verse seventeen. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. Right. Take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yahweh. Okay. So this word is our sword. Okay. This 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 is our weaponry. Okay. And with with this word, we have to we don't have to worry about nothing, okay? But let me go here. So like yeah. okay, this is uh, Isaiah. This is Isaiah chapter fifty four, verse seventeen. It says, "No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper." So so no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper, man. All right. Nothing, nothing can prosper against uh, this word, man. This this word is is faithful and true. This word is is is, is the sword of the spirit. This word is of Yahweh, all right. And it's, it's, it is no one who can uh defeat Yahweh, all right. It says, "No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn." This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh, right? This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh. What's our servants? Uh, what, what, what's, what's our what's our heritage? Okay, our heritage is to believe upon our power and call upon our power for defense, man. All right, we 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 don't uh call upon guns and, and, and ammo for our defense. Okay, this is the heritage. Of the servants of the Lord Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me," said the Lord Yahweh. Right, our righteousness is of the Lord, man. Our righteousness is 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 not uh to to grab a gun and and, and to uh defend ourselves, man. Okay, we 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 look to our Lord to defend us, man. Okay, and let me get this: our our Lord is going to defend us. All right, this uh Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty four. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So Yahweh uh, Shah, our Lord, he didn't come to send no peace, man. Are he coming with the sword, man? All right, so so what, what what's the point of you trying to uh, grab a sword and, and, and do something with it? Our Lord Yahweh Shah is coming with the sword, man. Are you you trying to pick up a gun? All right, and, and defend yourself. That's trying you you trying to make peace on the earth your, through through your own doing. All right, when our Lord Yahweh Shah said, uh, he's coming with the sword, okay? And, and think not that he's coming peace. Why? Because he's 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 coming to destroy. All right, he's not coming, uh he, he's not coming for no peace. All right, so so you uh calling for uh, 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 uh your yourself to uh not have a stigma 
okay and you to uh be able to carry a gun okay that's 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 uh that's blasphemy man all right because uh yahweh Shai, our lord said he's not coming for peace you you're not going to create peace by you having a gun man all right by by you uh looking to defend yourself our lord said he's coming uh to defend us man all right vengeance belong to him okay let me get this in uh isaiah okay this is isaiah chapter 34 verse 5 for my sword and, and this is our lord yahweh Shai. For my sword shall be bathed in the heaven, all right, in, in, in earth, okay? Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia, yeah, uh, 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 you so-called white people, all right, and, and all uh, where you dwell at, okay, and, and, and all who follow behind you, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, right, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, all right? And, and if you're picking up a, a, a gun, are right, you going to get caught up in, in, in uh, the, the uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai's, uh, Sword that's gonna come down upon all the wicked. Okay, you, you're not gonna uh be protected, all right? Because you 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 looked for uh your own protection. Okay, so therefore you're gonna be destroyed. All right, this is Revelation chapter 19, verse 15. It says, "And out of his mouth go of a sharp sword." Yeah, because our Lord Yahweh Shah is gonna come down uh, with the host of uh with the host of heaven the angels okay and, and they're gonna all be on chariots okay uh fourth dimension fourth dimensional vehicles okay and, and our lord yahweh shai is, is is gonna uh uh through his mouth okay he's gonna breathe fire okay which is gonna come uh which is gonna be activated through these fourth dimensional chariots okay through through the chariots of israel okay the chariots of israel are gonna uh send the uh fire uh, through through uh concentrated uh fire through through laser beams uh, of the chariots from from our Lord's uh voice okay and that's how he's gonna uh uh burn you up with 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 the sword of his mouth okay so so our, our Lord is coming with that type of power man what the what what do we need with with some um uh guns man all right that's that's low level man our Lord got so much power we don't need no uh what the hell a gun gonna do man all right. That's 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 being ignorant, man. All right. It says, and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that he, with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and tread of the winepress of the fierceness of wrath of the Almighty Power Yahweh. So what 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 what, what would we need with with uh with a gun? Okay, when uh. Our Lord coming with that type of power, man. All right, he, he's coming with a uh, a sword from his mouth. So so what the hell will we need with with uh with 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 a uh, gun, man? All right, that's that's just stupid, man. All right, what what would you need? What what would you look like trying to defend yourself? Okay, and, and go to war with Esau with, with with guns, man. That's that's stupid, man. All right. What what would you look like trying to be an extremist and, and, and raise up as as a uh, as 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 a terrorist so to speak or 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 defender uh, for so called black people against uh, Esau man that 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 would be dumb man all right it says uh, this is uh Sirach chapter twenty eight verse eighteen it says. Many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many as have fallen by the tongue, right? So the tongue, all right, you, you, many have fallen by the sword, man. The sword ain't nothing, man. All right, but, uh, the, the, the tongue, okay, the, the, your, your words, okay, they bring more death than the sword can bring, man. All right, so you have did nothing but brought death on, on, on yourself by saying that you, you, you want to defend yourself with guns. You want to be a licensed gun owner, man. All right. Many people done died from the sword, man. All right, but but more have died from from uh speaking uh that into existence, man. All right, for for speaking uh for 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 saying they wanted to defend themselves. Why? Because the heavenly Father's not with that, man. All right, the heavenly Father's not with you making no uh no big tumult and and, 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 and having no uprising. All right, with with, with weapons of war. Okay. You are the heavenly father's weapon of war, okay? And and on top of that, Esau is his weapon is is his weapon stick right now. Esau is the heavenly father's sword, 
okay? And he's going to use Esau to destroy all you uh, wicked uh, men all right, who, who claim that uh, you, you, you are, are doing uh, some good by defending yourself with, with, with uh, weaponry, okay? That's not of the Lord, all right? Let me get this in Psalms, all right? This is Psalms, chapter 44, verse... Six, it says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. Right, so our sword is not going to save us, and we're not going to trust in no bow, man. Or who are we going to trust in to save us? Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, your, your sword, your gun cannot save you, man. All right, what, what is your gun going to do for you, man? It's not going to do nothing for you, man. All right, what is your bow going to do for you? Not nothing. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is, is our refuge. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is our hegemony, man. All right? That's, 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 that's who's going to uh, save us. All right? And, and, and that's who we're going to trust in. We're not going to trust in uh, a whole bunch of ammo and, and, and a gun. All right? That's, that's just stupid, man. All right? This is Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that set they're on to take peace from the earth all right so so the power has been given to esau to take peace from the earth with what with his sword okay and, and i'm gonna get that in uh in genesis all right but it says and that they should kill one another and that was given unto him a great sword so he's been given the power he, he's been given a great sword to take peace from the earth okay why because uh the heavenly father well, it goes back, uh, let, let's get in in Genesis, all right, because uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shah, who was Isaac, all right, the, the father of Esau in the reincarnation, gave him the sword just so we can come back and, and, and destroy him uh, and, and take uh, the blessing that he gave him away, uh, g gave to him away from him, okay? Let me get this. Okay, this is, uh, this is Genesis chapter 27, verse 40. It says, and by thy sword shall thou live. All right. And this is Isaac uh, telling uh, Esau, okay, that uh, his, his son Esau, giving his son Esau a blessing. All right. He said, and by the, thy sword shall thou live. All right. So Esau lives by the sword, man. Are you you thinking that you're going to uh, come up against Esau and, and, and defend yourself against Esau with some guns? You you really out your mind. You're really just being ignorant. All right, the, the spirit of the Heavenly Father doesn't rest upon a, a man who's thinking like that, man. All right. You really uh very childish thinking like that, man. All right. It says, And by thy sword shall thou live, and shall thou serve thy brother, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. Right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. How will by Shem Yahweh Shah, our Lord Yahweh Shah, has to uh, has has to uh, break the yoke off thy neck, man? Are you you're not gonna break that no yoke off his neck, man? All right, you gonna end up getting put to death trying to uh, come up against Esau. Why? Well, let me get this in Psalms. All right, let me get this in Psalms. Okay, to to prove that Esau is 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 actually the sword of the heavenly Father. Okay, so your sword. Cannot defend uh, against uh, the heavenly Father, man. All right, because if He has it purposed uh, for 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 you to be destroyed, you're gonna be destroyed. Okay, and, and, and He uses Esau as as His waster, man. All right, as a destroyer. All right, Esau is 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 one of His uh is 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 uh is um like a go to weapon for uh Yahweh, man. All right. He, that's like a go-to weapon for Yahweh, man. All right. This is uh, Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right. So which Esau is the heavenly father's sword. You have to cry out to the heavenly father to deliver you from Esau, man. You, you're not going to uh, deliver yourself. With no uh with, with no uh damn gun, man. All right, that's that's you you just you're gonna be destroyed. Are right, you supposed to be crying out to the Lord, man? That that that, that just shows that uh these men don't have no faith. All right, they don't possess faith. And and a lot of uh and a, and a lot of uh so-called uh believers in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai 
or think in this manner. They don't have no faith. Or and so and, and a lot of so-called or spiritual men are they 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 have guns. All right, and and, and just uh, Jake. Period, man. All right, he he, he trusts in his guns, man. He trusts in his uh weaponry, man. All right, but you you trusting in your weaponry, man. That's 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 like uh trusting in Satan, man. Are you you you're under uh. The, the, the dominion of Satan, man. Are you an adversary to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh with, with weaponry, man? All right. And I'm going to get this and I'm going to just wrap it up, okay? Lord willing, this was edifying, okay? All right. This is uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 15, verse 16. It says, Take this holy sword, a gift from Yahweh, with thee which thou shall wound the adversaries right which this word which this word this is how we're gonna wound our adversaries this is how this is our defense uh to, to our adversaries uh, which uh the word adversary means satan okay so so this is uh our defense uh, against uh all uh the, the those who are adversary to how about she all right this word this this is what's gonna uh eventually lead to our salvation okay and I'm going to just wrap it up right here. Okay. That is one last precept. Uh, the Spirit led me to this one last precept. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 59 verse 19. It says, So, so shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, shall lift up a standard against him, right? So Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to lift up a standard for us, man. Are right, we, we, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to defend us, man. All right, from when, when, this, when the enemy comes in like a flood, man. All right, not your damn guns, man. All right. So, so if you, if, if you, uh, feel like, uh, you, you need guns and you trying to stock up old guns and you trying to hide your guns and, and uh, you know, come up with a militia group and, uh, you know, you, uh, say you trust in the Lord, but you still got a gun. Okay. Hey, you, how about she, man, Shai is going to destroy you, man. You need to come up out of that, man. All right. So Lord willingness was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, recall Kodash. All right. Double honors to the apostle and elders, a great millstone who grew well. Peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect.